Hey companions, it's Unlikely Hero here and I'm back with some more Monster Rancher 2. Now, as I said at the end of my previous video, the current plan is to continue training Spooky's power and hopefully sometime soon I'll get a letter that will tell me that the errantry is cheaper, in which case I will then send him off on an errantry with the hope of getting a intelligence-based move for him. But yeah, in the meantime, we'll just be focusing really solidly on training his power. Because, um, as I found out in the tournament I entered him in, his attacks are not very powerful at the moment, which isn't ideal. He's so happy about potatoes. Kinda reminds me of my sister, actually. She's very happy about potatoes, usually. Okay, so we've got an official tournament at the end of this month. Um, I'm not entering that. I'm gonna stick with the plan. Spooky's having a little dance in the background. It's good for him to get some extra exercise in, in between his drills. probably ought to actually scold him for this one. He is over a year old now after all. But yeah, really um, Spooky shouldn't be failing too many drills at this point. Oh good, I do have some mint leaves. I was gonna say, I know I bought some because I watched back some of my last episode and I saw myself buy them. One thing I was going to say in this video actually is chances are that this particular video will be my first one after my break. The break which I'm currently on. Um, time is going to become a confusing thing while I try and explain this because by the time you see this the break will be over. But. Yeah, so it's not really a break as such, seeing as it's literally so that I can catch up on recording. So for me, in regards to actually making content, it's not a break at all. It's just that I'm not uploading content. Sorry, just getting spooky started on his training again. Um, yeah, I didn't really want to take the break, but I felt it would probably be best in the long run. Spooky hasn't finished his drill again. Oh, Spooky. I don't really want to have to scold him too much, but at the same time... Can't let him go get away with absolutely everything, really. But yeah, I felt it would probably be um, best for me to take the break in the long run, as much as I didn't want to stop uploading for a week. Just because hopefully it would give me a chance to actually catch up a bit. Um, I don't really like it if I'm um, kind of frantically trying to record a video the day before it has to go up. Because, you know, the main reason I do this is to have a good time and I don't want it to be... A little pressure is okay, but it was kind of going to be too much pressure. So I thought the break was a good idea. Okay, so cool. We can send Spooky... <laughs> we, you and me, we can um, send Spooky off on an errantry, because it's cheap now. Um, oh, we might have a present from Spooky. It is another Gallo Nut. He seems to like those. I'll continue what I was saying in a moment, but uh, I just want to check that Spooky's kind of 
Okay, he's not in the best shape to go on errantry right now, so I will give him a mint leaf and some rest and then send him next week instead, because um, it will still be cheaper. It's cheaper for the month, I think, so. And it's best to make sure that your monster's well rested before they go on an errantry, because it's much more difficult than a normal drill. So yeah, I'll just make sure. So. But yeah, with me not having a massive amount of money in game at the moment, I didn't really want to have to spend the 2000 on the errantry. Okay, so... Is there one? Yes. I was going to say, is there one that will give him the chance for an intelligence-based technique? So we need to send him to the Pear Pear region. Okay. Yep, that's good. That's what we like to see. Not really feeling good about the wild monsters, with Spooky being quite young and untrained at the moment, but I think it's worth the risk, hopefully. So we'll give that a go. So I can't remember if we've actually seen the Pear Pear region errantry before. Um, my memory's awful. So Spooky's just having a little race with that monkey at the moment. <laughs> Quite a violent race in that he's kind of slapping the monkey out of the way, but... Okay, cool. So he's got a new technique already, so that's really good. So we've already kind of got what we came here for. So... If he doesn't complete the entire entire errantry, which I'm really kind of not expecting him to, um, at least he has got the new technique. And that's the main thing. Actually, yeah, the main thing would be him getting technique and coming back not injured. <laughs> so hopefully he won't get injured. The errantries are so extreme though. Like, all the things your monster has to do just seems so ridiculous. Okay, this is where at least my monsters have usually failed. Um, especially the first time they've attempted this errantry, so I'm really not expecting Spooky to get past this particular bit. Yeah, it's so extreme. Okay, I completely was not expecting him to actually get past that, but he's doing a good job. I'm, I'm not expecting him to be able to do this final um, bit, though. I mean, it is quite a big gorilla, so... <laughs> Yes, Spooky, slap that gorilla on its bum. I thought it was quite likely that that would happen. That's fine, as long as he's not injured. It's, it's chill, it's fine. I've got the new technique and that's good. I just hope he's alright. Okay, it looks like he's just tired. He looks like he's wilting! <laughs> Poor Spooky! Right, so I'm reckoning... We'll give him Mint Leaf again, because he might be quite stressed out after being flattened by a gorilla. I would be. And then we'll give him some rest, and I will continue what I was saying about the break, the upload break. 
So basically the Halloween videos that I did for October ended up being a lot more time consuming than I expected them to be. Um, which kind of left me with little time to do anything else. And that's not to say I didn't enjoy the Halloween videos. I almost enjoyed them too much and that's why I put so much effort into them. But it basically meant that after that was done, I, I had literally one other video to upload, like one of my normal videos. So, yeah, I tried to kind of play catch up and get more recorded, but then I kind of, unfortunately, I came down with a cold, which, you know, not the worst thing ever, but, you know, it left me with, like, not very much energy for actually recording stuff. And also, my voice just sounded really weird, and I was worried that it might, um, because I haven't got the best microphone anyway, I was worried that perhaps... I wouldn't sound very clear in the videos so yeah kind of one thing led to another and here we are um, I currently have no videos at all to upload which is why I'm taking the break to try and just focus on recording for some time well for a week <laughs> but yeah, hopefully this will get me back on track a little bit and hopefully you will um, understand and don't mind too much Okay, so Colt is talking to us about the seed, which has already germinated, so that's cool. There it is. It's not very big at the moment. I hope so too, Colt. Okay, Spooky's still not kind of doing his best at the moment, or feeling his best, I suppose, so I'm going to give him some more rest. Okay, he's looking better now, so let's take a look at that technique that he got. He's a year and a half old already. Um, okay, cool. That is a technique that I am at least a little familiar with. I don't think I've ever had a monster that could use it, but I've had it used against my monsters many times, so it's not a particularly powerful attack. Kind of by default, but seeing as Spooky has got that on there actually, seeing as Spooky's intelligence is kind of roughly equal to his level of power, him having intelligence based moves is going to be very worthwhile. Also, I think he's kind of more naturally inclined towards intelligence as well. I'm pretty sure his intelligence goes up quicker than his attack, so his uh, power, I mean, so. Having intelligence based moves is going to be ideal in that case. So, in regards to continuing his training, having got that intelligence based move, I will start training his intelligence again. Because that's what's going to affect the um, attack strength of his intelligence moves. Naturally. <laughs> Yeah, I say naturally, but um, when I was younger I didn't really understand that the intelligence moves um, were affected by the intelligence stat and not the power stat. It took me ages to figure that out, so... Okay, so we've got an official tournament at the end of this month. I think I'll enter the next one potentially. I'm thinking maybe, um, maybe with the extra technique that might help. One thing I didn't check. Mm. Yeah, it does cost quite a lot of guts to use, which that isn't the most ideal thing, but. I, I, I can work with that, it's fine. But yeah, I'll probably aim for the next official tournament, rather than the one this month. That seems more sensible.
No, no official tournament. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like Colt really kind of pressures you into entering tournaments. I'm sure she means well. Hmm. Here's me saying that his intelligence goes up um, more than his power. It looks to be about equal, actually. It could have just been that his last gain in intelligence was lower than usual, but I'm not sure. I'll have a look again and we'll see. I'm hoping that my voice does actually sound normal again now because it's, it's kind of hard for me to tell. I usually think I sound weird, so. <laughs> okay, so his power's increased by five that time. Let's see what his intelligence does. Six, so pretty pretty even to be honest. I think it's just that he um, started out with more intelligence naturally when he was created so I just kind of assumed that he would also gain intelligence quicker than other stats but I guess I was wrong. It does happen sometimes, sometimes I am wrong about these things. Quite frequently, actually. I don't pretend to be the font of all knowledge about this game. I really don't know what I'm doing sometimes. Ow. Okay, so I think I'll buy some more mint leaves. Because um, I said in one of the previous videos that Spooky seems to get stressed out quite easily. I seem to have a habit of getting monsters that are like that. So I'll try and, whenever the sale is on, try and get some more mint leaves because that's helpful. Okay. I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, yeah, so the plan of action for next time is just going to be to continue training his power and intelligence with the game of entering the next official tournament, and hopefully that all goes to plan. Right, so I'll probably just continue in the next video immediately after this, but <laughs> for you there will be some time in between, so I'll see you then.